Welcome to NAM 2015. You're with my friend, Jeffrey Short. What are we going to talk about today? You know, it's something we've brought up before, man, and it's it's an interesting subject. And it's not a subject that just anyone can have a conversation about publicly? No, and it's one of those things where, you know, everybody's worried about being politically inc incorrect all the time, and, and I'm tired of that sometimes. Politically correct is not Politically correct, incorrect, yeah. whatever. But, you know, one of the things that I think about all the time is I'm a black DJ, and I DJ a lot of white events. And I've talked about this before. Yeah. Um, that phenomenon that happens, you know, either on the planning side or actually while you're on the event itself. Yeah. It's never been a problem for me, but no matter what you do, it's when you're the only black face or, as you know, the only white face and you walk into a room, there's, there's a reaction, there's a, a yeah. consciousness. That I happens. feel like it's almost a qualification process that goes through the guests. Totally. Where they say, well, he's not one of us. And then, is on my gonna, end, Is he going to do a good job for us? They almost, like, test me right away. Well, do you have this and do you have that? I'm like, yeah, I have that. Exactly. You know, and even, I learn every time I, I do, and sometimes, even at the all-black weddings or all-black events yeah. that I may happen to be the DJ on, I'm still learning. Right. You know, um, I just talked about this in, in, a, in a different video, but... I had an experience where I was at a mostly black event and a young, you know, well, the first thing that happened was I played a song that I thought they would go over well for this crowd. Yeah. And I played the, the unedited version, you know, um, and I got complaints. It was offensive. Right. And so right off the bat, this gig was not going great. Uh, for, on my end. I made an assumption about about the guest that was right. wrong and got my ass handed to me and and th then I had a young black woman come up to me and say, aren't you going to play anything good? You know, that, that famous, <laughs> right. when are you going right. to play something good? Right. And I said, well, you know, what would you like to hear? And she said, I'm a 30-year-old black woman. What do you think I want to hear? And right. that brought up a whole series of thoughts like should I know that should I not know that you know so every gig it doesn't yeah. matter you're learning something you are you know? sometimes it's okay to profile sometimes it's not okay to profile right. you and, don't know what to do and by that point in the gig I was too scared to do it I, I was like no tell me exactly what you <laughs> right, want to hear please, please the artist the song yes. exactly and I try to I try to qualify them when I talk to them. Now, have you done black events or mostly black? We were talking about yeah. the Latin events that you were yeah, just doing. Yeah, I've done black. How did you feel about you know? I mean, I was totally cool with it. Yeah. it they try to put me at ease at black events. I was doing a wedding about two years ago, and I walked in, and the, the groom and the best man greeted me, and they were very nice. I said, oh, welcome. Hey, we know you're going to do a great job. You came really highly recommended. Please have some food. You know we have some chicken. <laughs> you know, I was just laughing, like, oh, my God, we're going to get like this fine. Right. So they had a sense of humor about things, yeah. and, and from there on, it was great. But there is, there's cultural differences. There are. You know? It's not racial, it's cultural. Yeah. And that's it's what really, a lot of people just don't get. And it's Latino, black, white, country, urban, doesn't matter. Well, and think about the money that you could make or how your, your pay could increase if you were able to appeal to all those different cultural groups as a DJ. You know, you could, all of a sudden your gigs could, you know, double. If you, if, 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 if a different cultural group said, this yeah. guy, knows us and knows our music and knows our cultures let's hire him no matter what color he is i've broken in that pretty well with the like tropical latino crowd puerto ricans dominicans i do believe though having said that you can't be everything to everybody that is true and and so but there are situations that you do get into where you need to have a clue yeah and i really believe i, I truly believe it's all about just kind of understanding as many people as you can, as many groups of people, as many cultures as you can, it'll get you by the night best, better than anything else. I, I believe that. That's never a bad idea, no for, matter what. For me to master yeah, a no. cultures, you know? No. No. But for me to have a clue if I run into a situation, I need that. Yeah. For me to take an Indian wedding might be irresponsible. And that's true. Uh, it, 
On the other hand, if it's a mixed wedding, I, I might be able to pull it off. Yeah, yeah so, you, you know, you're absolutely, you bring up a good point, is that when you try to overstep, now you're not going to do a good job for them. And, and it is irresponsible to say, look, I may not be the one I may not be your best for, for your gig. You say yeah. the same thing with, you know, even, you know, bar mitzvahs and bat mitzvahs. There are, right. there are certain things that happen that, you know, somebody might be ignorant about. And, you know, there are people better suited to that. But I think if we could all just increase our cultural awareness a little bit more. Absolutely. You know, so that we could do these gigs. And sometimes you don't even realize it's gonna be that way until you get there. I had that two you weeks know? ago. Yeah. yeah with I the Latino mean, gig. So it's not like it's, hey, we're gonna send you on this Latino gig. It's just you got there and it turned out to be that way. Well, it worked so. out like this. They said, we'd like you to do our company party. We understand that you do Spanish music too. We have some Hispanics and attendants that'll be there. No problem. Blanca is Puerto Rican. She's fluent in Spanish. She's going to be able to translate the spellings for me with the request. I know the music, but not the spellings from tropical stuff. We get there. There are 10 white people. Yeah, yeah. And everybody else yep. is, is Mexican. We don't know Panda and Ranchero. We don't know it. Mm -hmm. So it was all kind of a, a mad dash. If the people on Facebook helped me out with it. It was great. So, yeah, I mean, a little bit of it, but not a whole night, and I wasn't expecting that. I thought, okay, we're going to play some sets, and they're going to request it. It's going to be fine, but we're going to play English music, too. We didn't play one English didn't song. Didn't happen. No. Well, I think that we played Fireball, and they wouldn't have it. Yeah. Which yeah. is both. Yeah, and that's where I'm coming from, you know, being from Cleveland, but now down in South Florida. Right. You know, everything is, is Latin-based a little bit. You have to have that education, and so I'm trying to increase my awareness of that you know that music scene as well. Do but they think you're Puerto Rican? Everybody does. I mean, no matter what, <laughs> no matter what, when I'm in Florida, they come up to me and start speaking Spanish, right. and I can understand a little sure, bit. You sure. know, I can. But uh, no matter what, I am Hispanic. I am Puerto Rican. I am <laughs> Islander. You name it, that's me. You, you know, you got, but, right? Hey, I just go with the flow, and I think maybe maybe more DJs need to do that. I'm know? always a white guy, by the way. They never <laughs> he does, mistake he me doesn't for pass for anything else. but white. I right. can't understand it. <laughs> but uh, hey, man, it's Nam 2015 and beautiful. Anaheim, California. Yes. And it's always fantastic to have these conversations with you. Absolutely. Absolutely, sir. Matt. Thank you, thank you. Always. See you in Mobile Beat. <laughs>